my students when I am doing classes or any Vedic classes, what I tell my students is, when we read about these incarnations, like Kapila Muni, or we read Rishabhadhi, or we read Dhruva Maharaj, or we read Prahlad Maharaj, or we read about Narsimha Dev, we need to, it is very auspicious for us to understand that we are actually getting their darshan. Think about this carefully. For us, it may look like, for us it may look like Devahuti is getting darshan. For us it may look like when you are reading Prahlad Maharaj is getting a darshan. For us it may look like Dhruva Maharaj is getting a darshan. But the fact and the reality, the objective reality is that when we read about these incarnations, you are actually getting a darshan yourself. And this is a fact. So, th- that's, that's what I kind of reiterate to my students, that when we are reading Kapila Muni's incarnation, and they're going, and you usually notice, that every time there is an incarnation that comes, or Jada Bharata, or any, then there's the ed- end of the chapter, end of their little, um, you know, punctuation of chapters, you will notice that there will be what's called a Falashruti, Everybody understands Phalashruti? Phalashruti is, yeah, okay, good. Phalashruti is, for example, Prithu Maharaj comes and goes, or Kapilamuni comes and goes, and the end they'll say, whoever reads this with attention, or whoever says this attention, whoever speaks this attention, whoever adopts in their lives for atten- with attention, they will get, like, if he's a sannyasi, he will get, like, you know, darshana, all the darshanas available. If he is looking for dharmartha, kam moksha, he will get sovereignty over the kingdoms or he will become very successful. There will be a series of verses, every incarnation that comes, Prati Maharaj or Kapila Muni or any other incarnation, at the end, there will be what's called a palashruti. Palashruti, it looks like, oh, what is going on? It looks, what, we are not karmakandis. No, no, wait a minute, settle down. We all need some kind of benedictions bestowed upon top-down order. So you get, so when, what I'm trying to establish is when you read up about Kapila Muni and when Devahuti, when you read about Devahuti getting darshan of Kapila Muni, you are actually getting darshan of Kapila Muni. Please understand this point. Because you read, you read it as these are real people. These are real people with real problems, trying to find real solutions. You you understand what I'm trying to say? So this is not some we don't just gather together and read some you know some stories you know bygone ages. God knows which planet these people were. God knows you know sometimes they're satyaloka. Sometimes they talk about. Kailasa, so God knows where they are, who knows, you know, beyond the world, metaphysics, forget it. But please understand, when you are reading about Kapila Muni, you are actually getting his darshan. When you read about Prahlad Maharaj and Narasimha Dev, you are actually getting his darshan. I can show you that. It's not some fictional book or something and we read and we close and Haribu! Okay, that's one day done, you know, one day of our tapasya. <laughs> you know, one day of... No, no, no. You are actually getting Kapila Muni's darshan. Then you see them as real people. Then it sinks into the heart. Otherwise it's just on, you know, otherwise it's just going on... You know, just mental platform. You know, just playing, playing on our mental psychological platforms. That ain't going to help much. Yeah? Okay. So, the reason I established all that is because Kapila Muni is going to, f- Kapila Muni's story is going to finish very soon. Kapila Muni's story is going to get f- finished very soon and usually we get a little nostalgic, right? When we read a story and the road is story is about to finish, we get a little nostalgic. Oh, he's gone, he's going now. But don't worry. 
Sukhmit Maharaj is going to follow straight after and Dhruva is going to follow straight after and then you have Jada Bharat straight after and you have Bharat So never disappointing in Bhagavatam. So we are reading his last instructions. So what I was trying to emphasize is when we are reading his last instruction, when we are seeing him off, when we see in incarnation, we have actually met him and when we see him off, we see him off with full glory. We see an incarnation of in Bhagavatam, we see them off with full glory. We see them off with full, our heads bow down. You know, when we are learning something, there is a good combination of a teacher and a student. Okay? The attitude, they say, it is, it is kind of a it's, a, it's a good, it's a good thing to learn. The attitude of a student is that he, attitude of a teacher, sorry, is that he knows that he doesn't know. And the attitude of a student is that he doesn't know what he doesn't know. You understand? I'll repeat it. The attitude of a teacher is that he knows that he doesn't know. And the attitude of a student is he doesn't know what he doesn't know. That is a perfect combination of a teacher and a student. So when we sing of Kapila Muni, we have, we have taken a lot from him. It's no jokes. We have taken a lot from him. Oh my God. He's opened our eyes in so many ways. Physically, metaphysically, scientifically. You understand? So when we see him off, you have to remember, when we see the incarnations off, when we're reading incarnations coming and going off, you have to see them off with full glory. You have to be confident that we have learned something from you. It is going, we are going to objectively use this now. We're going to objectively use this now to arise our consciousness. Tamasoma jyotir gamaya, mrityorma amritam gamaya. So you have to see like that. Then the falashruti will work. Then the falashruti will work. Then you become representations of Krishna. Then you become representations of Kapila Muni. You understand? Then you don't need to, you understand? Then we don't need to even preach or outreach. People see and they'll say, wow, I want to be like him. I want to be like her, that Mataji. You understand? We don't need to, we don't need to go and do her. Our God will beat up your God. No, you don't need to do all that rubbish. You understand? Okay, sorry, I just wanted to kind of lay a little bit of a premise. Yeah. So, please bear in mind that you are actually, when we are reading this now, now think in your mind, you are actually having, you actually got Kaplamuni's Darshan now. Then, then see the depth of your reading, how it will drastically change. It's like, wow, I actually saw Kapilamuni. Yeah? Because, <laughs> what do we see with eyes? Nothing. <laughs> Ears. That's the seeing. Yeah? Okay, so, 41, right? Om Ajnana Timurandha Sya Gnana Ancha Lakaya Chakshulam Tamina Tasma Shri Guru Venam Ha Vande Nanda Vaja Shri Nam Padre Nuh Vikshna Shayasa Marikato Gitaam Punati Bhunatrayam Yad Vanaspata Yobhita Latas Chaushadi Bhisaha Sve Sve Kale Bhigrinanti Pushpani Cha Falani Cha Yad vanaspata yobhita Latas chaushadi bhisaha Sve sve kale bhi grinanti Pushpani cha falani cha Yad vanaspata yobhita Latas chaushadi bhisaha Sve sve kale bhi grinanti Pushpa nicha phala nicha Take it away Yadvanas Latas chaushade bhi saha 
स्वे स्वे काले भी घृणंती पुष्पा च फला काले भी घृणंती पुष्पा च फला वनस्पत लताषदी सह स्वे स्वे काले भी घृणंती पुष्पा च फला वैष्णवी षदी सह स्वे स्वे काले भी घृणंती पुष्पा च फला यस्वनस्पत भीता लतषदी सह स्वे स्वे काले भी घृणंती पुष्पा च फला यत बिकॉज ऑफ हूम वनस्पत द ट्रीज ट्रीज ऑल्सो इन सैंस्क्रिट इज कॉल तरा एंड तरा एंड ट्री आर एक्चुअली कॉग्नेट वर्ड्स सेम वर्ड्स इन इंग्लिश भीता फेरफुल लता क्रीपर्स चा एंड ओषधि भी हर्ब्स सह विथ स्वे स्वे काले ईच इन इट्स ओन टाइम सॉरी ईच इन इट्स ओन स्वे स्वे कम्स इन टू यूरोपियन लैंग्वेजेस सुई जनरस सुई इन स्पेनिश जर्मन स्वे स्वे गोस लाइक सेल्फ स्वे गोस इन टू यूरोप एवरीवेयर स्वे स्वे इट्स अमेजिंग वेन द इंडियंस वर इन्वेडेड बाय द ब्रिटिश um lord uh, sir william will william jones and uh, maximum muller they were all at oxford chairs the first thing they came and when they were reading sanskrit this was their instructions to everybody the scholars coming to india they said you have to learn sanskrit because you will see the sanskrit is everywhere in europe and you will see the unity of the world that's the only way to progress like linguistics is everything oh my god I don't want to go in I'll go forever but it's amazing linguistics is amazing so you see this way way everywhere in europe um abhi greenanti bear pushpani flowers cha and phalani fruits cha also okay you can repeat out of fear of the supreme personality of godhead the trees the creepers herbs and seasonal plants and flowers blossom and fructify each in its own season okay propat ki jai shubha as the sun rises and sets at the seasonal changes ensue at their appointed times by the superintendence of the supreme personality of god it so the seasonal plants flowers herbs and trees all grow under the direction of the supreme lord it is not that plants grow automatically without any cause as the atheistic philosophers say who ouch rather they grow in pursuance of the supreme order of the supreme personality of god it is confirmed in the vedic literature that the lord's diverse energies parasha shaktir vividaiva shruyate you may know that words स्वाभाविक ज्ञान बल क्रिया सो इट इज कन्फर्म्ड इन द वेदिक लिटरेचर द लॉर्ड्स डाइवर्स एनर्जीज आर वर्किंग सो सो नाइसली दट इट अपीयर्स दट एवरीथिंग इज बीइंग डन ऑटोमेटिकली ओके सो देर इज अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ अ बॉम्ब शेल्फ बट वी कैन टेक इट स्टेप बाय स्टेप वी कैन गो थ्रू दिस 
these kind of verse this the, the, this kind of this kind of set of verses were we already read them through in the 25th chapter if you remember um mad bhayati vat mad bhayad vati vato yam suryastapati mad bhayat varshati indro dhatya agnis mrutyus charati mad bhayat so these kind of you will see I, i think i was mentioning previously you will see there's not many verses in bhagavatam there is not many verses in vedic literature where god is portrayed as some you know fearful entity up on the top floor you know diplomatically sending down orders down and you are like okay, okay no that's not how it works okay that's not how it works because there's something called a free will so if there is a god and if there is a living entity and if there is an infinite god and there's a finite particle the relationship is a loving relationship it doesn't work with fear you know you follow my order otherwise i'll burn you into hell and i'll just wake you up again just to burn you more no it doesn't work like that we need to understand the context of this fear versus very systematically i i think i was mentioning previously when you see these verses like this even previous verse the same thing um यद भयाद वाति वातो यम सेम सूर्य स्थपति यद भयात यद भयाद वर्षति वर्षते देव भागनो भाति यद भयात सो व्हेन व्हेन यू सी फियर वर्सेस लाइक दैट दैट दे आर डूइंग फॉर बिकॉज़ ऑफ फियर ऑफ मी द सन राइजेस बिकॉज़ ऑफ फियर ऑफ मी द विंड ब्लोस बिकॉज़ ऑफ फियर ऑफ मी द डेथ टेक्स इट्स टोल व्हेन देयर इज इंस्ट्रक्शंस लाइक दैट इट्स नॉट टू इंस्टिल फियर it actually is to provide assurance it actually is to provide assurance that you don't need to fear many calamities because you are i'm always backing you up do you understand because if you take systematically go to systematically right mat bhayat vati vato yam yeah the vayudeva san bhima was krishna's best friend you understand he is saying varshati uh, indra dhati agni the indra son arjuna is his eternal krishna's friend mrutyus charati mat bhaya yama dharma raj san yudhishthira practically krishna took orders from him krishna has acted like a menial servant in front of yudhishthira maharaj so if it was really a fearful rule of a god why would that same krishna be friend and joke and roam around like buddies with their sons doesn't make sense you understand what i'm trying to say so it's not you have just calm down and when we see that it's not fear like you know you go you fear you turn your face and you turn around towards that philistines and i'm going to bring my wrath you know the judaistic stories i mean no 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 disrespect i'm just saying that we need to understand the fear in a context that it's actually an assurance provided to devotees saying that you don't need to fear the calamities of earth you don't need to fear the calamities of the fire you don't need to fear the calamities of the death you don't need to fear the calamities of the wind <laughs> why because they're all under my line so it's more of an assurance it's not a fear so when you see that assurance when you see the connection with assurances when you see the connection with love then you have more you know you you know you got something you can give something <laughs> you know you got something and you can give something what can you give when you don't have it what can you give something you don't have you understand someone was saying yesterday to me um i was doing books somewhere i keep lost tracking of where oh yeah went to it and someone came to me and he said uh, well i'll take the book and um i'm just afraid i might just lose it or i might just misplace it or it might just stay for years and i said to him how can you benefit from something you don't have he looked at me and said wow <laughs> yeah that's true so you are afraid of losing it or you are afraid of misplacing it or you are afraid of taking the book but how can you benefit from something you don't have oh he was like, oh. he dropped he dropped his shopping bags <laughs> it's, it's okay 
let's talk about this <laughs> and then he took he ended up taking a stack of books after talking so that's what we're trying to say so how can you give love that you don't have how can you give something that you don't have please understand so when you don't understand this loving assurance from god take the take the fear out of take the fear in real correct context then you have you got something you can give something you got something you can give something and then the evam pravartitam chakram chakrapani why is krishna called chakrapani because there is a circle between him and us we giving we getting we giving we getting we receiving we that's the cycle of this world we receive and we give we receive and we give when we break that cycle is when mogham bharata sajivati one more opportunity gone down the drain <laughs> you see what i'm trying to say so yeah so when we see fear versus we need to be very we need to take this systematically on one hand the incarnation is saying everything works under my fear and control and the other hand he is hanging around with arjuna like you know saketi matva prasavam madu yaduktam he krishna he yadu he saketi uh pranena vapi ajanata prane i didn't know and i was just casually taking you please tat shamayitvam aham premayam those unlimited sins please forgive me arjuna says so the same god who is saying fear on the other hand is hanging around like buddies with arjuna and bhima yudhishthira nakula sadeva even karna he goes bit in between of in between the kurukshetra war i think it was ninth day yeah ninth day he goes in the in the middle of the war on the ninth day he meets karna in the dead of the night and he says do you want to change your mind <laughs> and i could i could i could make your life fruitful just a little switch no <laughs> karna so karna is a little overrated anyway seriously he's a bit overrated anyway so um he still he even karna he goes and says even duryodhana can you believe him duryodhana is the villain of the whole shebang right but he sends balram with a little technique he sends balram ji to duryodhana to give him lessons can you see like what kind of what kind of person he is we are here like hating duryodhana uh, uh, duryodhana he is the cause of all the problems he trouble pandavas you know the story is so gruesome you know but krishna says wait a minute my brother could you go just you know good you know they play good cop bad cop even in normal police life they play good cop bad cop one one police will come and say <coughs> here is the evidence my you know will go and come on you like a ton of bricks and other police will come and say hey hey don't worry about his harsh words you know we'll fix you up just let's make a truce you know we we'll let you off with a little bit of a sentence give us some witness and he plays a good cop so good cop bad cop on one hand Krishna is playing seems like playing bad cop and then he sends Balram saying play the good cop and Balram goes and goes how about some mace fight training to you Duryodhana says yeah sure Balram ji training me <laughs> blown away <laughs> so he gets so so that's the kind he he's hanging around with like buddies and on the other hand he's saying i'm a very i'm fearful under my control so this is please understand this is assurance your atma will never be lost you are eternal here you are eternal there your atma will never be lost nothing will be lost no rasa none of your skills nothing will ever be lost it's an illusion it's illusory not an illusion it's illusory there's a difference between illusion and illusory it's illusory to think that we'll die you are not this body you got to get it first you have to base your foundation you are not this body you understand okay 
So let's move on to the next uh, part where Prabhupada is saying something interesting. It is not that plants grow automatically without any cause, as the atheistic philosophers say. We have to talk about. It. I talk. I you. I mean, you know how much I spoke with the the king of the atheists of this world. You know, if I tell you, you will think, "Oh my God, this is like the magnitude is just too much." I sp- I speak to the atheists of this, like the kings of the atheists, like Matt Dillahunty. We're talking like Matt Dillahunty. He's the he's the kingpin right now, like the poster child <laughs> or the, the poster child. So he's the poster child, right? The Tom Jump and Matt Dillahunty. I speak to them all the time. And one day I was. Um, when I was talking to him, and I, he, he, at some point we started becoming friends because I actually started to show that I understand what you're trying to say. If anything, go mad, Dilahanti, because wash out all this fanaticism. You know, if we don't have people like you, if you don't have a good bunch of these critical atheists like you, the problem is all these religions become fanatics. You know what? We need more of you. He was like, what? What? I said, yeah, we need more of you. Bring few more of you. Because you know what? You correct us. You put us in our places. You make us check. You, keep, you make us check our attitudes. You make us check our morals. If anything, we need more of you. <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> so so we, we kind of became friends. So one day I was... Talking, we, we do online talkings, and I was talking. It's okay. See, I, 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 I'm okay with all you're saying. So what? Okay, I'll just bring the elephant into the room. Okay, none of these. You're not trying to hide and see. You can bring the elephant into the room. The elephant into the room is that the atheistic philosophers or the materialism or the scientism. It goes by many names: physicalism or the materialism or the atheism or there's so many names for it. Philosophy is that everything is an emergent, all the uniformity you see in this world, all the uniformity you see in the physical laws is an emergent principle, is an emergent phenomena. Emergent means conjured up, it just happens, like the Goldilocks scenario. Just perfect, it just happens. And why does this, how does this happen? It happens as two major things, chance, mutation, and natural selection. So these are the two divine pillars. Chance mutation and natural selection. Chance mutation is adopt by, because you are adop- adopting to something, because you are adopting to this pra- physical world and natural world, what they are trying to say, you are naturally, the, the body is naturally selecting according to the ecology. Yeah, that's one. That's the mutation, it's mute, mutability, like the fingers grow automatically. Giraffe, giraffe's long neck is because she was just trying to reach high trees. And it just was a mutation in the genes, and giraffe, just, a do- actually it goes a little beyond. A dolphin actually becomes a di- giraffe. Now don't get me started, why, how they think, why, don't get me started. But So natural chance mutation, because the giraffe was just trying to reach higher trees, its ne- neck became longer. Or the sky is blue because of atmospheric signs, the lights, the chromatics, and so natural chance mutation and natural selection. Because of survival, we are selecting, and everything just and because of these two principles, what builds over and what you see the conscious entities and human beings is just an emergent philosophy, is emergent phenomena. Okay, this is called bottom-up approach. This is called bottom-up approach. These are um, the words I'm using are very, very technical, academical terms. I'm not making these things. These are coming straight from the University of Harvard. This is called bottom-up approach. But w- these are a little opposite. These are saying, no, no, this is not bottom-up approach. This is top-down approach. Because consciousness is primary. Consciousness is primary. They are saying the long trees are there because the giraffe is long. 
No, no, not the giraffe becomes long. Giraffe becomes long because the trees are long. The trees become long because the giraffe is long. Because the consciousness is consciousness is primary. It works quantumly. Consciousness, the world is there because there is an observer inside us. The, wor the relatable world outside is present relatable and knowable is because there is an observer inside who is keen to become knowledge. So, the gnayam gnayanam parignata jyotisama pitad jyotis tamasa paramuchyate gnanam gnayam gnana gamyam hridi sarvasya vishtitam jyotisama pitad jyotis any enlightenment, Jyotisam, roughly in Western philosophy, you can call enlightenment. Jyotisam apitad Jyotis, I am the peak of enlightenment. Tamasa paramuchyate, I can bring you out of darkness, ignorance. Gnanam, knowledge, gnayam, knowable, gnana gamyam, the objectively attainable knowledge. These are all, I am securing this. I am administering this. I am facilitating this seated in your hearts. This is a top-down approach. So this battle about top-down approach of the theism that there is a consciousness, a conscious entity, an observer inside us who is traveling in the bodies and the world outside, the Chinmatra, it's called Tanmatra in Sanskrit. Because the, the knowable world, the relatable world in Sanskrit, the technical world is called Tanmatra. And the knowing mind, the observer in Sanskrit is called Chinmatra. So you always have this combination of knowable and the knowing, knowable and knowing, knowable and the knowing, knowable and the knowing. So this, this top down, this bottom up, that transmutation and natural selection, and there is a top down, which is consciousness is primary, and based on your consciousness, your motives, your free will, your intention, you're actually changing the world. It affects the collective, it affects the collective behavior of this planet. Otherwise, how long can we live on our own whims? There has to be some object, sustainable, moral framework. There has to be an objective, sustainable, moral framework that you can fall back. If someone comes and says, oh, I just slit someone's throat outside the temple and pick up his wallet, there's two answers you can give. One answer, you, someone comes into the room, just, <laughs> I was just walking on the ground there. I saw a man with a fat, you know, wallet. Ah, I just slit his throat. Yeah, what a big deal. Picked up his wallet, yeah, 1500 bucks. Yeah. He comes in and he's just, can I pay for your prasad? And there's two things you can say. One thing, if you're a tough, you know, cookie or, you know, who doesn't care or morals, what are morals, subjective? Well, you did what to her, you, I'm just giving you a hypothetical. Oh, well, you did what you had to do to survive. Or other perspective, you can say, no, no, you shouldn't have done that. Come on, how can you slit someone's throat and st steal someone's wallet? There has to be an objective moral framework. And the objective moral framework can be established only when it's a top-down top approach. Bottom-up approach, I can, I can show you, I can write volumes and volumes and volumes and volumes of books and I can show you it will never work. I can objectively show you it will never work because you will fall into a very bewildering fight how to establish what's right. Wow, that rhymes. Doesn't it? <laughs> so you will fall into this extravagant eternal fight to establish what's right. That rhymes. So you will never be able to come to a conclusion because Kamsari Sindhas can come or Chandan Charchit can come and say, Pro, pff, Radhika Prasad, no, no, this is not the right way to do things. Okay, Mataji, uh, 
ಮತ್ತೆ ಕೀಪ್ ಆರ್ ಫರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಇನಿಷಿಯೇಟಿವ್ ಮನಸ್ವಿನಿ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ಮನಸ್ವಿನಿ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ಮೇ ಕಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೇ ಹಾಂ ನನ್ನ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಪ್ರಸಾದ್ ನನ್ನ ದಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ವೇ ಯು ಡೂ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ದ ವೇ ಯುವರ್ ಯು ಟಾಕ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಯು ನೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ಯು ನೋ ಯು ಕಡ್ ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ ಇಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ವಿ ಕಿಡ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದೇರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎ ಮಾರ್ ದೇರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎ ಸಸ್ಟೈನಬಲ್ ಅಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಲಾ ಫಿಸಿಕಲಿ ಆರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲಿ ಸೊ ಸೊ ಐ ಆಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಡಿಬೇಟ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಆಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಎಥೀಸ್ಟ್ಸ್ which to whom i have a lot of respect don't get me wrong i really respect his work in so many areas and i said to him so what wh- how how are you hoping to bring all this all this the, the humanity into into one kind of congruous you know ek line you know in hindi they say ek line pe kaise le kar aoge like one line how do you bring them what is the basis and he said humanism oh huh, okay so how does that look like humanism is collective utility collective good what is collectively good will work out will work out some loss what is collectively good for ev- everybody and i say i asked him so have you started this book this humanistic book this humanism book no i haven't started so you don't have a book no i don't have a book have you worked out what the com- what the you know collective law should be i uh, know i mean we are working out okay so how do you look to the future there are so many races there are so many countries there are deserts people live in there are tropical people live in people christians they are coming from hindus background so called hindu background muslims they are you know are architect how are you going to bring one law collectively to all these people from a utility point of view um i will have to work out and i asked him a question I said listen to this very carefully please answer me once you have this so called humanistic book and you laid the foundations of that book say 50 years you laid it finally and you establish some hierarchies and you have to establish some hereditary like sorry hierarchies and you have to what do they call the ground rules sorry you establish some ground rules you have you establish some hierarchies you have a book you have collectively people opining that this book should be followed can you tell me how is it going to look like oh and he had an assistant he said oh that looks like religion i said bingo <laughs> so all you're doing is you're trying to away, you're trying to run away from re- one religion and you're doing another religion that's all you're doing it's nothing it's nothing new this these things the top the fight between the top down approach read the prahlad maharaj story hiranyakashipu the fight between the top down approach and the bottom approach has been eternal so don't panic nobody is going to kill dharma dharma is not it's like that punching you know clown in the in the when you go to the you know the circus or festivals or these amusement parks there's this punching clown you punch and he gets up he gets up you punch and he gets up it's like that you keep punching that magic clown he gets up dharma is like that you'll never kill dharma how will you kill dharma how will you kill a law you'll never kill it so relax your atma is not going to be destroyed your soul is not going nowhere dharma nobody will kill it uh, you will be a conscious entity eternally in connection with krishna there is nothing to fear that's what the fear verses are telling us nothing to fear Do you see what I'm trying to say or have I completely lost you in my reverie in my philosophical reverie I do you have some people still here or I've lost you you okay So what are you saying see so this this that's like the punching the, the punching clown the dharma you try to bah, it gets up it's like it never you'll never kill it no it doesn't happen so this is eternal battle so if some if some people so yeah that's where i was going so 
mad he was he was kind of he kind of for a second he he i saw his eyes kind of saying it kind of makes sense and he goes <coughs> no no <laughs> then stands his ground again and fights with me so the the, the point is you, you you it's better it's better to rectify the religion or it better to rectify the system that we are in it's better to work with the system and rectify and if you see any fanaticism if you see people going overboard if you see people religious people acting crookedly like you know mean you know really mean because we are religious you know flag holders and we can you can we can shas and we can you know ordinate what you got to do because why because i've got the rod of the religion if you see that kind of fanaticism let's fix it let's fix it it's everybody's job if you want to fix a human a humanism book so we got we already got the we already have a humanism book right so if some people are acting ungently if some people are acting crookedly if some people are acting like excuse my language dumb idiots let's fix it let's work together let's make this work let's build the relationships back let's see what's the damage is let's heal let's heal ourselves and then we heal others then we heal other relationships and his um, boss comes and says you know what we got to delete this guy from this group <laughs> we, don't, we don't want this guy with this guy. they call me varun in social life and then he sends a note saying could someone please delete varun out of this big, <laughs> these these groups <laughs> anyway no i still talk to them it's okay so what i'm trying to say is it was his assistants who always keep come back to me and so i don't i don't dispute i just i actually have a lot of respect because there's a lot of good work they're doing so that's what i'm trying to say so if you relate if you relate back that's the fear that's the you do, the fear versus are to say that you don't have to fear you got to get this context right you understand dharma is not going to die your atma is not going to die we have to develop that darshana okay what do you see with the eyes nothing you got to see with your heart tatva darshibe so go back to so when you fall into paradoxes in bhagavatam can't see you guys okay <laughs> so <laughs> so when you say run into paradoxes he'll understand what happens when we don't have glasses so when we see when we see paradoxes in bhagavatam you fall back on geet bhagavad gita when you see paradoxes in bhagavad gita you fall back in bhagavatam so krishna gives a very inter- he only uses two verses in bhagavad gita ahankaram asuram yuni mapanna yeah yeah asu mood janma janmani ma prapya kontaya tato yant adhavam gati so there's only two verses he talks about fear and things like that but what he says is asatyam aprati he say he saying the quality of the people that take top down approach and it is there in bhagavad gita asatyam apratishtam te jagadahur anishwaram aparaspara sambhutam kim manyat kamahitke asatyam let's go this quick just quickly i'll take 5 minutes we have only 15 minutes god so much to say running around this time huh okay maybe i won't go towards the, okay i'll do it okay so asatyam apratishthamte asatya means krishna is trying to say that if you don't have any guides in your life if you don't follow a guide there is no guiding principle what happens is asatyam you start seeing the world asatyam means that there is no objective truth outside to be known asatyam there is no objective truth to be known that's asatyam that's what the top down that's the problem with that's the problem with the top down scenarios the naturalistic and atheistic scenarios 
there you you have you have no firm firm base to say there is something objectively true outside it's like the descartes you know the mesh, the, the brain in the vat the descartes said you are like a brain in the vat what if you are just a brain in in a vat and some evil genius is just manipulating you you could never tell the objectively something truth noble outside that's the problem when you take the top down approach what does he say next apratishthante apratishtham there is no foundation there is no foundation to this world so cause and effect so if you keep go sorry this if this is getting a little too philosophical sankhya what do you expect yeah so, sorry hopefully after this maybe when we go into the next cantos i'll lighten this up a little bit yeah uh, please just hang in there we will we'll, we'll get there apratishtham is that there is no foundation to this existence pratishtha means it has a foundation sta stand in english sta same words there is no foundation to this plan there is no foundation to this existence everything is conditional it doesn't work like that you have to regress and come back to a foundation without foundation nothing works a building doesn't work so that second problem asatyam there is no absolute truth to be known outside second problem apratishtham there is no support to this universe jagadahur anishwaram anishwaram there is no permeating consciousness supervising our activities can you imagine a life like that without a supervisor will your boss leave you for 2 seconds do you know even if working from home even when you're working from home these days they have a mechanism anybody works from home works from home isn't there a mechanism where they keep a tap on you how long you're away isn't there a tap like you they know more than 30 minutes they know what is going on there and then there's a whole system of seeing how long you've been on it and how long you've been off and then how long you've been on teams and how long you've been on fb <laughs> joking so there there is even normal life there is a supervisor right how can you say the whole how it's just logically a priori logically how can you say there is no supervisor for such a uniformity just lo- let's leave let's leave the evidences okay i can give you evidences but we have very little time but let's leave the evidences away right just logically speaking how can you run something without a supervisor can you c- could you run this temple without a supervisor someone overseeing the activities no could you could i run my house without someone supervising no just logically speaking you don't get money into your bank account without you work you you working and someone supervising you so anishwaram jagadahur anishwaram they say there's no um nothing no supervisor no conscious supervisor it doesn't work like that what is next paraspara sambhutam ki manyat kama hai to kim paraspara sambhutam is what i already covered natural selections and chance mutations aparaspara sambhutam ki manyat kama hai to kim so they say ki manyat everything happens because of chance mutations and natural selections so i'll tell you a story because too much philosophy boring so one day i was in um, pit street mall and um, i used to go i i like going with harinams and doing books and some of you may know um yeah i like doing books so i was standing and this um sp- uh, i think he was from denmark he said to me and he said no, no, no it's all good what are you guys doing it's all good all good but i believe in science he said i we believe in science i said repeat that again he said we believe in science do you hear what you're saying you believe in science so you chose that no no okay we don't believe in this this religions we don't no supernatural things no we don't have this kind of regard for all these things i said okay sure okay sure so what about everything is physical everything has to be determined it is deterministic i said what about love 
What about values? What about justice? What about values? What about justice? What about love? What about morale? What about moral compass? How do you... There is an ethical foundation of science, but there is no scientific foundation of ethics. Think about this very carefully. Think about this very carefully. Okay, meditate on this. You will see this world differently. You will see this world differently. You will get new eyes. There is ethical foundation of science, but there is no scientific foundation for ethics. So what about love? What about values? What about morals? What about our relationships? How do you do that? How do you do that with science? Whoever survives, how long? How long will that last? The 5.4 million, 5.6 million people in Sydney will be cut short to 2.6 in no no time. If we keep killing, if we get survival and just lose the weak people, why do we need hospitals? Why do we need aged care centers? Why do we need NDIS? You know NDIS? Yes. National Disability Insurance Scheme. So if it's all about survival of the fittest, just survive and just you know get on with life, why do we need hospitals? Why hospitals? Why aged care centers? Why NDIS? Why disability programs? No, it doesn't work like that, sweetheart. It doesn't work like that. So what about love? Ah, ah, ah. He goes, ah, love. Ah, well, that is covered by social science. I said, oh, you shot yourself on the foot. He said, why? Social science is soft science. It has been discarded in 1920 by the Geneva Convention. It was discarded in 1920. Psychology and social science were put into soft science and it was discarded. Long story. This is gone. You shot yourself on the foot. You have, you have no moral foundation. There is moral foundations of science, but there is no scientific foundations for moral. There are loving foundations for science, but there is no scientific foundations for love. If I go to my wife, or if I some a wife go to her husband, and I just said, oh, it's just my bodily urge. Otherwise, you know what? Um... I was waiting at the station at 9.30 in the night and you didn't come to pick me up. No, I just married you because of my urge, you know. We just wanted to get along and make babies and, you know, increase and... Well, if that's the case, and I thought survival is the fittest, if 9.30 in the, in the, in the night, 9.30 in the night, you're waiting at a station and you got murdered or something, okay, well, survival of the fittest, you die, I survive. Huh? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Bad news, no breakfast in the morning, sleeping in the garage, no heater. So, what about love? What about justice? What about values? How can we live like this? Etam drishti mavashtabhya, nashtatmano alpa buddhaya, prabhant yugya karmano, kshayaya jagato hita. So Krishna, what does Krishna say? When you apply these kind of mentalities, what is the problem? Etam drishti avasthabhya. You develop this kind of mentality, what do you have now? Ugra karma. Survival of the fittest. Who cares? I am getting on the top. It's pretty lonely on the top. Very lonely on the top. Be careful what you wish for. Be very careful what you wish for. Very lonely on the top there. So survival of the fittest, and what do you have to do? Ugra karma. I put you down, I've got to put you down so I can go up. I exploit you, I use you for my purposes. Because why? I want to go up. Ugra karma. 
ನಷ್ಟಾತ್ಮನು ಅಲ್ಪ ಬುದ್ಧಯ ನಷ್ಟ ಆತ್ಮನು ದ ಆತ್ಮ ಪ್ಯಾರಡಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಾನ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಸಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಸಿ ನಿಮ್ಮೋರ್ ಪ್ರಭವಂತ ಉಗ್ರ ಕರ್ಮನು ಕ್ಷಯಾಯ ಜಗತು ಹಿತ ದಿಸ್ ನೋ ವೆಲ್ಫೇರ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಸಿ ನಿಮ್ಮೋರ್ ಅಹಿತ ವೆಲ್ಫೇರ್ ಸರ್ವಭೂತ ವಿ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಸರ್ವಭೂತ ಅಹಿತ ಇರತ ವೆರ್ ವೆಲ್ಫೇರ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ಸ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ so i'll just quickly read the next translation it will be about the same subject to the control of the supreme personality of god had no sorry out of fear of the supreme personality of god it the river flows and the oceans never overflow out of fear of him only does fire burn and does the earth with its mountains not sink in the water of the universe so shravanti sarito bhita not sarpatyu dadhiryata agni rindesa giribir bhurna majjati yadbhayat so because of my supervision the lands are not overfilling the mountains don't crumble down the sky doesn't fall the earth is in its orbit gama avishya bhutani dharyam ahamojasa pushnami ch aushadi sarve somo bhutva rasatmaka moon is in its orbit the earth runs in its orbit why because of my supervision so i did two verses so don't go and ask for refunds please <laughs> so because we don't do refunds just joking so um yeah so that's so there's two ways that's um, krishna trying to say ugra karmano when you when you take this i'll just quickly summarize before we run out i was trying to establish first i was trying to establish when you read kapila muni's incarnation remember you are act, you actually have darshan of kapila muni please understand it's not some scriptural book and you read falashruti and om namo bhagavate vasudevaya thank you very much for today aaj ka ho gaya kaam no it doesn't work like that you understand what i'm trying to say so you need to see that you actually had kapila muni's darshan when you have kapila muni's darshan when you see the depth like that then you can hold his teachings with confidence and you represent his love and you become his emblem you become his emblem of love that's the that's the assurance when an incarnation comes and goes from bhagavatam you see them off with what did i say yes very good boy this mahaprasad oh that's it so we see them off with glory yeah i never deserve that anyway so it is so we see them off with glory and what did i speak about next the fear words fear is not about god establishing fear fear is god giving you assurance fear is fear versus to remove fear please understand fear versus us to remove fear you don't have to worry because they are taken care of your sons were my buddies wind god your son bhima was my buddy wind god your son hanuman oh my god what a beautiful story indra your son arjuna was my son dharmaraj you go killing people around you think you're big you know you think you're a big muscle man your son and i played man don't worry about it everybody is taken care of so fear verse is to remove fears is to give us assurance and then i explained the atheistic philosophy and the difference between theistic philosophy how i used to i i have like discussions i i read so much if you see my books you'll think oh my god how are you still krishna conscious i really read a lot on atheism and um, i was checking i was showing you some check and balances of the top down top down up, uh, bottom up approach, how bottom up approach crumbles like a house of cards it crumbles like a house of cards and it's not the only game in town okay the natural science and the you know the physicalism so called in the universe it's not the only game in town if you really go drill down the you know the the bottom up approach crumbles down like a house of cards we don't have enough time but i can just i can just systematically establish you not to not to defeat someone or something just to move in a rational sensible way the bottom up appro- the top the top down approach works because we are working under consciousness is primary in a quantum physics where with free will and intention you can actually affect this planet positively if you keep going on survival of the fittest 
half of the sydney's population will be vanished in 10 years there won't be any hospitals there won't be any ndis there won't be any aged care centers 70 years old too much you know he's 70 years old he doesn't work anymore too much expense how can you object you cannot object there's nothing to object if you keep go if you go and shoot all the 70 all the people above 70 years old because they're a burden on the planet or burden how what is a what is scientifically establishable to say that's wrong please i don't know i've i've read hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of books i couldn't find any hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of books i can't find anything so it falls down like a card of like a house of cards you see the card game you put all the cards as a house how much does it take to fall <laughs> achi and go <laughs> falls away falls like a house it's not only it's it's not the only game in the town so many other games yeah so and i related this top down approach how what happens the effects of this top, of this uh, bottom up approach from bhagavad gita showing असत्यम प्रतिष्ठंते जगधावरनेश्वर अपरस्पर संभूत किमनियामहतुक दृष्टिमस्थाभ्य वंश यू टेक् दिस् अप्रोच एक दृष्टि दृष्टि मीन्स अप्रोच वंश यू टेक् दिस् अप्रोच एक दृष्टिमस्थाभ्य नष्टात्म अल्पबुद्धया यू लूज युअर सेल्फ यू लूज यू डोट सी अदर्स एज यू नो सोल्स आत्म दट नीड अ वेलफेर एंड अ लविंग रिलेशनशिप फ्रॉम यू दिस नथिंग टू एस्टाब्लिश अ लविंग रिलेशनशिप यू अंडरस्टैंड सो नष्टात्म अल्पबुद्धया दृष्टिमस्थाभ्य नष्टात्मबुद्धया प्रभव उग्रकर्मा नो देन ऑल युअर लेफ्ट इज विथ युअर ओन विम्स ट्राय लिविंग अ डे विथ विथ युअर विम्स ट्राय जस्ट यू नो देज अ रेड लाइट राइट एंड जस्ट ट्राय ड्राइविंग थ्रू वॉट सी वॉट हैपन्स सो इफ देर इज नो लॉस दिस मेटीरियल लॉस एंड देर इज मॉरल लॉस सो आई स्पोक अबाउट द डिस्कशन विथ एन एथीस्ट एंड आई शोड आई एक्सप्लेन हाउ वी लविंगली टॉक टू इच अदर and i questioned i just simply i love them i i re- i think there should be more atheists in this world i mean you might think oh god this guy is going nuts seriously because we need to be checked we need to be checked please understand we don't we can't get carried away like you know oh we are the religious people no it doesn't work like that so i explained how um i questioned about the values and respects and loves um has no scientific basis and i said um there is a loving uh, ethical foundation for science but there's no hari krishna thank you so there's no loving foundation ethical foundation moral foundation for science but there is a but there, sorry there is a loving foundation ethical foundation for science but there is no scientific foundation for love and ethics and i gave you an example if my wife was waiting for me 10 o'clock in the night at a bus stop and she says can you pick me up and i said no i just had some urges and i you know married you we made some babies you can die you know i am the i am the you know i am the fittest so i should survive <coughs> she's here today so <laughs> can you imagine my rest of my life bad news <laughs> bad news so that's the thing yeah so that's how you establish mono monotheistic philosophy that's how you grow in bhakti you become a loving representation of krishna you establish loving relationships with your brothers and sisters in krishna consciousness you establish you grow a movement like that with love people see you they think wow god i meet them it's such a loving you know time with them they understand and you read you not with not as a dogmatic not as you know fanatically you read systematically trying to op- what did i what is the saying i said initially a student a teacher is someone who knows that he doesn't know and the student is someone who doesn't know he doesn't know someone has to share the mahaprasad with that mata ji behind there that lady behind there so Are you happy or did i completely bore you to death and next time you see like you're running away from me like oh god don't talk to this guy did i bore you completely or was it so did it give you some fruits 
Was it okay? Okay. I just, I just want to thank you. Please, please understand. I, I, I literally, I, I always say that, and me, me, you may think, okay, all it's like a straight line for him, standard line. But I really want to thank you for being here. It really makes my day to be here, and it makes me nostalgic because it brings me lots of memories. And thank you for hearing all my dry philosophy, dry, dry, unrational disputes, <laughs> and dry philosophy. Um, I'm very, just before you, I'm very happy to be corrected, and I'm very happy to be questioned and challenged. So if you have any questions, here is your time. No questions. Yesterday was Ekadashi, so we were all wanting to go and have breakfast. <laughs> very smart. <laughs> huh? Very smart. <laughs> very smart. After imagine like, it's what a stupid question. He comes after Ekadashi, Dwadashi, does Bhagavatam class and goes, any questions? <laughs> anyway. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate. I'm very thankful. Please, please, give, please continue providing me your association, and hopefully, I'll, I'll grow and I'll become that good, good man, gentleman that I, you all want me to be. Hari bol, nita ek gor premanande. Shila Prabhupada ki, gor bhakti bindi ki. So, just turn this off and.